to do a review and a demo on a product that I have seen all over Instagram and I finally found it at my local Target and it is this one right here this is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder and isn't the packaging so adorable I think it's so so adorable and just so intriguing I found this on my local Target it was about $10.99 I believe and they have a variety of shades to choose from I'm pretty sure you guys will find a shade that will suit you I actually got this in the shade uh, 326 true beige so I kind of wanted to go over the details of the product what it's supposed to do and the best way really to find out if this product really works is to do a demo so I'm going to be wearing it throughout the whole day and this is actually a work day this will really be a test because I have a very long I have a very long day today excuse that so you receive about 0.91 fluid ounces of product in here which is a little bit less than what you would normally find for a regular foundation Foundation. usually it's about one fluid ounce and it says here bare skin perfecting makeup it also contains a broadband SPF 18 which is a plus you guys know I am like such a stickler for SPF it transforms from liquid to powder for the perfect bare skin finish for the best makeup results just pour a few drops into fingers and apply directly onto skin it's not recommended for use with a sponge or a brush so we're actually gonna go buy what it says on the bottle and just use it with our bare hands so just for a little background, my skin type is oily and right now the weather is hot and I have this little blemish right over here, my little friend right over here, but just don't mind that. I also wanted to mention that I do not have any moisturizer or primer on my face. All I really have on my face right now is just a little bit of Clearasil on my like blemish spots, just a little FYI. So anyway, let's kind of just move on to the demo. Let's go ahead and first just shake up the product. It has a twist off cap sometimes the only problem with um, foundations like this is that you end up pouring more than what you need not that, that much and it is really liquidy it feels very smooth and just work it into the skin oh wow I love the uh, texture of this it's like after I rub it into my skin, it's like it automatically or instantly turns into powder. So I guess you have to kind of work with this um, fast for a little bit more. It automatically kind of sets to a powder form, which is really cool. Usually you have to wait like a few like minute or so before your foundation really sets into your skin but this one it really sets in very well. I'm just going to add a little dab on this little blemish area to conceal. You know, whatever product I have, let me just blend it down to my neck. This is how the foundation looks after I have worked it into my skin. And my first thoughts on this product is that it feels so smooth and silky on the skin. It set so beautifully as well. It only took literally like a few seconds and it immediately set to a powder finish. So I'm not going to set this with any sort of powder because I want to see how this foundation will work on its own without having to set it since it is supposed to be like a liquid to powder formula. I like the coverage because it definitely evened out my skin tone. I'd say this is more like a light to medium coverage depending on how much of this product you use. This has more of a matte finish. It definitely does not have any type of dewiness to it. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So I decided not to put any concealer on my little blemish over here. I wanted to see um, how it will look at the end of the day. So I just basically put on eyeshadow, um, blush, and bronzer, but I did not um, add any finishing powder or a finishing spray. So right now it is about 8.35. I have got to go to work. I will check back with you guys in a few hours. It is now about 12.47, so I've had on the foundation for about 4 hours total. I'm on my lunch break right now, and I have not retouched or blotted my face. And this is how the foundation looks after the 4 hours. And I'd have to say I'm actually 
really really impressed with the foundation considering that the weather it's really hot outside this is how the foundation looks in better lighting and kind of moving around the camera so you guys can see how it looks in all angles and literally I cannot stress to you guys how good this foundation looks in person and it feels so great on the skin so this is how it looks definitely not shiny I will check back with you guys after work So it is now 5.48 p.m. and I just got out of work right now. I have not retouched or blotted my face at all and I've had on the foundation now for a total of 9 hours and this is how the foundation is looking at the moment and to be quite honest with you, I feel like right now I really need to take a blotting paper and just blot my forehead. The thing I would have to say that I like about this foundation is that it seriously has not shifted around on my face. It still feels feels like I'm not even wearing any foundation which is a great part about it I don't need to retouch the foundation or I feel like I don't even need to put on any powder and do you guys see that there are horses right there right now I'm about to go have dinner with family so so far even though this is nine hours of just no blotting or retouching I'm still really happy with the product I will check back with you guys in a few more hours It is now 8.43 p.m. and I've had on this foundation for a total now of 12 hours. I wore it throughout the whole entire workday and I have not retouched or even blotted my face at all. Let me tell you, today's weather has been really hot and humid and even right now, it is seriously so hot in the room with all of the lights and everything. So this is how the foundation looks after a total of 12 hours and I have to say, yes, my forehead, this little area is looking oily but you know what? I think this foundation held up so, so well knowing that I haven't even blotted or done any of that to my face this is just how it looks it literally just still feels like I don't have any foundation on it feels so nice on the skin all I need to do now is just blot my face I don't I feel like I don't even need to add any powder to it if I just blot it I think it would be completely fine I think it's just such a great foundation especially if you are an oily skin person this is like an absolutely amazing foundation for oily skin. I think this would also be great for normal to dry skin or just even normal skin. I think this is such an amazing foundation and it really held up throughout the day and as you guys can tell it's literally like it hasn't even shifted on my face. This little guy right here he is a lot more noticeable than how he was looking earlier but you know what other than that I think the foundation seriously looks so good. I would definitely recommend this product to you guys. I think it is such an awesome foundation. If I happen to miss anything, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. I hope you guys found this review and demo helpful. Thank you as always so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!